he wanted his freaking female subordinate to talk for him. And that female knows every single f***ing detail of the relationship. And she was like, you're a bad girlfriend. You're very materialistic. Do you know how much he spent on you? Do you know blah, 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 money, 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 and all that Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do like a continuous story time video about this guy that I was seeing in 2018. I'm not gonna say who it is, but if you're watching, you know who you are. So I set the tone in the very beginning of the relationship by buying designer things for him because you know, my whole channel is about designer goods and I love designer goods. So I wanna spread my love to whoever I was with at the time. And it was his birthday, I got him like designer things, but that, I don't know if it's that ruining the relationship or the fact that he saw that I have all these things. That's why he's with me. Like maybe the tone from the very beginning, like why he's with me, why he decided to be my boyfriend, like all these things. Maybe that was wrong but I don't know like what point it went wrong. I just knew that it went wrong by the time that I bought him designer things. And I still remember one time in our many, many breakups, I went to his workplace and I wanted to pick him up after work or like talk to him after work, something like that. And so I wanted to talk to him and as the very, very cowardish person that he is, cowardly, whatever you call that, he wanted his freaking female coworker, like his subordinate to talk for him. And that female knows every single fucking detail of the relationship. And she was like, you're a bad girlfriend. You're very materialistic. Do you know how much he spent on you? Do you know blah, 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 money, 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 and all that crap? You are such a bad girlfriend. Leave him alone, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, okay, at that time, fair point, I was kind of drunk at the time. So I was so weak. I did not know how to defend myself. And I was just like, yeah, okay. I just want to talk to him. I was like in tears. I was like, I just want to talk to him. Can you just please let me talk to him? And he, as a coward that he is, as a like, non-protector that he is non-provider non-protector it's all equivalent he was hiding in the freaking corner and it was like a little coffee shop and he was hiding in the freaking corner and he was like i don't want to talk to her you'll deal with her and he was telling the female subordinate to talk for him with like all those stuff that i'm not a good girlfriend and that i'm a bad human being i didn't do this i didn't do that i didn't like cook for him or all that crap even though i did and she doesn't know and of course he didn't tell her okay two things that made me very very pissed off number one why would would he want someone else to talk for him why can't he just talk to me like something as simple as you know just dealing with your ex why can't he just talk to me instead of having like a random female talk to me and basically accuse me of a bunch of things number two why does the female subordinate know so much like him being so-called the boss shouldn't he like separate work and friendship like why do you want your subordinate to know so many like relationship details about your relationship and if one day if I become his girlfriend again what would that make me I'm gonna see that female subordinate every single day every time I visit his workplace and she's gonna give me the side eye she already gives me the side eye and I felt zero respect I felt zero respect at the time and I was just so freaking pissed off inside of course I didn't express it because I was drunk and I was weak I was vulnerable and she took that to her advantage and she was just like shooting arrows to me and saying all these things and she even had the guts okay at that time the main reason why I wanted to find him is because I had a blood draw on the next day and I was like can you go with me because at that time he's my boyfriend so it's obvious to ask your boyfriend to go with you because I'm a chicken and I hate needles but yeah so that's the main reason and then she even knows about it and she had the balls to text me and be like blah 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 doesn't want to see you blah 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 will go with you with this one condition which is blah 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 like reason blah blah, blah or condition blah, blah blah she has the balls to say that he will see you with one condition what like is she the mom is she like the freaking security guard or something like what rights does she have to say number one I'm not a good girlfriend number two that like she's like the messenger between between us and she's gonna translate his like wishes and wants like what is she and you know for the longest time I thought oh is there something between them like what kind of stance is she on like how does she have all those balls to say those things and I realized that she has those balls because he gave him those balls he was like oh you should talk to my girlfriend like that you should yell at my girlfriend like that you should accuse my girlfriend of all these things more of the story I don't know what went wrong maybe from the very very beginning or maybe when I start buying him like designer things that that's the tone of me being the provider, me being the protector, and him being the receiver, him being the girl in the relationship, him being the coward in the relationship. Maybe that's at the tone. I don't know, like, at what time did it go wrong? But moral of the story, do not, do not become the provider of the relationship. Do not. No matter, like, what all those, like, feminist sayings say to you, how, you know, you should split the bill at all times and, you know, make everything equal and all that.
no, don't, because that ruins the overall tone of the relationship. I've done that. I've freaking done that, and this is what I end up with. Like, it's never equal in a relationship, okay? Like, it is never freaking equal. Think about all the things that the woman has to do. The woman has to give birth to a baby. The woman has to be like the caregiver. The woman has to like man the whole house, and the woman currently still has to work. Make money, be the breadwinner, and at times maybe the woman have to work even harder just because of the glass ceiling and all that stuff to like prove herself, prove that she is capable of handling her life with a baby, with the family, and work. So, so many standards that society put on women. Women should be this, women should be that. So, relationship itself is never equal, and all those beauty standards that society has for women. Woman has to have like a smaller nose, bigger eyes, a sharper jawline, and all that stuff. The time and effort that woman has to put into maintaining her physical appearance or else society would say something about it. Like all these things. The two genders, they're not equal. They can't be equal. I'm not saying that, oh, I want women to like never work. I just believe it should be a choice. But then back to like the whole rant and the whole, you know, story time thing. I believe that woman Woman should not be the provider of the relationship or else that's gonna ruin the whole balance and that's what happened and you know more of the story if you're the provider no one's gonna protect you because you become the man of the relationship and apparently that means you don't need to be protected and so story time video I hope you guys enjoy this video and whew, so freaking angry still but I hope you guys enjoy this video I have a lot of perks and benefits in my info box be sure to check those out and see you guys next time bye